Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add music to your Instagram posts. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. You want to click on the plus sign on the lower right corner. Then you want to make sure that you select an image or video that you want to add. In our case, I am going to select this particular thumbnail for the example. We're going to click next. Over here with the recent updates of Instagram, you're able to add music right from the get-go. As you can see at the top middle of the screen, you will have the note icon. You click on the note icon and there you have it. You can simply scroll through the recommendations for music. Very important, I see a lot of people not talking about when you editing a video. You want to see the length of your video and then you want to match the length of your video with the length of music that you want to select. As you can see, there are songs here that are only 1 minute and 50 seconds, uh, where there is songs that are 4 minutes and 30 seconds, right? There are minutes. <clears throat> also, there are songs that are over 5 and 6 minutes. So, I want to make sure that you match the length of the video with the length of the music. Also, you can actually browse through the genres itself. R&B and soul, we have pop, we got music that is coming from uh, the movies, right? You got hip hop, so on and so forth. So this is how we go about. You select your music and then you press next. But let me give you a pro tip, something that probably you, you're not going to see in other tutorial. If you simultaneously decide to change your mind after you already include all the hashtags and information, right? You put the location, maybe you're selling product, you tag the product, and then you said, okay, but I, I'm not sure about this song. I want to put something else. Well, you can actually change the song straight from this particular menu. You will see right here, it says add music, and there you have it. You're back to the same exact menu. This is very handful because now you are able to save your current updates and upgrades, and you can simply change the song from here. You don't have to go back to the previous menus and, and go back and forth, right? In this particular example video, guys, I'm going to use the terms of, uh, let's say you are into windsurfing. Let's look at this profile, right? This profile is very, very popular. A lot of people engaging, a lot of people talking. Let's say you just created your uh, windsurfing account. It could be for gym account. It could be for makeup, for whatever uh, topics you have. Find account that works. Okay, find account that got us a lot of people from the industry. And then I want you to go down in the comment section and I want you to start replying to these people. Right? Somebody said, well, that's awesome, right? You reply and said, I find this video amazing. You know, the skills of the person, uh, whatever you find to be the best fit for the comment section. Okay, you can actually send a direct comment to the person, to the actual creator. This is how you're going to engage with the people. Then the people will come back to your account and they're going to look your pictures, your surfing pictures, your surfing trip or whatever you do, right? Just think about if you have a, a business uh, with, let's say, hairstyle, right? And you have plenty of, of hairstyles that you have done. You have plenty of pictures, videos, things that you already achieved. And you go on the other people's profiles and you're just commenting, engaging with them, starting a conversation. Don't invite them to go over your page, okay? Don't do it. Don't try to, to steal other people's, you know, engagement and transfer to this, uh, your own page, right? Don't do it. The smart way do, to do it is to show that you also know a lot about the topic, right? You want to show them, hey, you know, I, I also have a lot of knowledge about the topic. And, you know, you show up here or you show up on other people's content and you show up and say, you know, for example, Jim, look at this. You can show up over here and say, you know, hey, that, that, that exercise works so well. I, I've done this in the gym and there will be a lot of people. Yeah, I tried this well. And this is how essentially you engage. And guess what? People not going to reply to your comments if they don't check your profile. If people reply to your comments, it's a very high chance that they already check up your account and even higher chance that they, they're actually going to follow you after you start, you know, having second or third comment on the original comment. This is how you build a relationship, guys. Meaningful relationships that are based on the same interests. This is very important for the long run. Because people who are very successful, not only in business, but in the social media space, are only people who are focusing on the long game. No one wants to, you know, 
try to sell a couple of items or offer a couple of services and then leave the platform and then leave the people, leave the conversation. Everyone should focus on building a long-term relationship uh, with the audience, which might essentially turn into being a customer. This is not a guaranteed case, guys. Okay, they might turn up audience, but they might not be a shoppers. They might just be an enthusiast, right? They just like to speak about it, but they don't want to practice it. There are plenty of people who love watching, uh, you know, artists drawing on the streets, but these people will never go and buy a brush. These people will never go and order, you know, never commission someone to make a portrait of them, right? So there are different people. I want you to spend enough time within people from the industry, from your business, uh, from whatever hobby you have, right? I want you to listen and pay attention. And I want you to profile who is a buyer, who is just an enthusiast, and who is a, a professional, right? So you cannot sell anything to the professional. You can just learn from it. Uh, again, scrolling down, if you find the corporate accounts like this one, this is a surf magazine, right? So if you find the corporate accounts or business accounts or media accounts, right? Uh, this is where you probably could find a lot of people because uh, there is a very, very, uh, of very, very uh, strong affirmative, you know, action of publishing content from the point of view of a magazine. So they gather a lot of content. They have a lot of access. They can do a lot of interviews. So the likelihood of having already built in audience in which you can actually engage with is very, very high. This is how you build your audience and you grow very, very fast, naturally organic. You don't buy any followers. You don't buy any, any, anything, any services, any apps. All you gotta do is to pick up the niche, pick up the people which are already in the niche and go in the comment section and engage. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to grow your Instagram account using Reels. Very easy, very fast guys. Let's jump right into Instagram. And let me show you things that you probably haven't seen, okay? The main scoop over here is that you want to go with the vibe. You don't want to go against the vibe. Let's say, for example, I, I'm, I'm inspired to become a surfer like this guy over here, right? So I want to become part of the community, first of all, indirectly, right? I cannot meet these people. I cannot recreate this video, right? But I can be part of the community. So essentially, you want to scroll down to the comment section and you want to go over posts that have a lot of comments or a lot of engagement. So how are you going to do that? You want to click on the comments. And here you can essentially start commenting similar comments as other people. But you want to add your own personal view, something that will challenge other person to reply to you. If you just say nice video, you know, no one will reply to you. You, not, you need to put a statement out there, right? Or you need to ask a question. Questions are actually always the safe way to approach someone or to essentially, you know, put your name or account on the table. Growing inside the comment section is the most unutilized function. A lot of people paying for ads, a lot of people reposting, putting, you know, 30 different hashtags, include like 17 paragraphs inside the description and they're still not growing <laughs> simply because the algorithm has changed big time. In my previous videos, if you go through my channel, you will see that a lot of these people who have a very, very successful post, they don't even include hashtags. As a matter of fact, if you look at this, this is a sponsored post, right? So the goal of person who paid for the ad on Instagram is to reach as many people as possible. But guess what? Even they don't include any hashtags. Just look at over here. There is no single hashtag. Sponsored post, they're selling probably clothes or whatever, or selling vibe. Uh, and look at it, there's no single hashtag. Same thing over here, you see over 1,400 different people like, saw this video, 14 comments. The description of the video, yeah, they have to include some hashtags because there are different brands over here. I see there are brands and he actually tagged the brand, so probably he's into some partnership or something. But essentially, if you look at over here, right, we're looking for a fashion magazine. You see over here? So this is a cultural magazine, okay? They do not have any hashtags. Just look at this. 
648 likes probably the page has indeed 300 over 300,000 followers so probably they, they know think or talk about the, the Instagram growth more than me and you right so my suggestion over here guys is to utilize the comment section there's very very few people know about this just pick your niche are you into fashion are you into photography are you into e-commerce just go find the most you know viral or popular post find the post that have a lot of comments right you don't want to go and post that has a million views but you know had like five comments you want to go and post that have like 50 60 100k reached right and you have like 500 comments that's like the best you can spend so much time commenting and guess what when you comment people are interested to see who they're talking to right no one just replies to no one <laughs> right they're gonna reply they're gonna see who you are and they're most likely gonna follow you and who knows where where the whole you know collaboration might end up this is how you grow organically on instagram for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and of course follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to share with you the recent update on instagram and how the algorithm actually targets different type of content and description on the posts let's jump right into the topics just look at my feed over here okay this is my feed my followers everything is windsurfing water sports you know activity if i go on the actual random fyp for you page everything as you can see is as usual sports 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 right and models of course let me show you something that you probably haven't seen let's go over here and let's look for sponsored post so this sponsored post over here is popping in between let's jump into the meta data of the post so they don't have any hashtags they do not have any hashtags they do not have any metadata description for a search engine optimization you might be thinking but you know they're running an ad you know nothing uh, you know should stop them to include hashtags well guess what even though they're running a special commercial if you go on their original account right and if you look at the regular post they don't get this attention 39 likes on the post that was published recently okay and they have a bunch of hashtags nothing is moving just four days ago compare this post with posts that doesn't have the actual hashtags how about this post over here same thing guys just look at this so four days ago they include like a 20 plus hashtags almost you know not even 40 likes and the post prior just has you know a little longer description with zero hashtags has 142 likes to understand what kind of difference we're talking about everything is in relation with the recent update so the rumor has it on the street that the instagram update algorithm doesn't actually identify the best content that has a lot of or some hashtags some hashtags or a lot of hashtags are simply kind of uh, no, uh, recognized as a tool that automated services or bots are using so this is where the natural organic growth is coming into play and if you don't trust me uh, well let's let's scroll down and take a look right this is another post over here bunch of hashtags again 40 likes it's 40 likes uh, prison there is a quote on 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 tiktok you know people who are locked in 200 views every video is 200 views 200 views prison you see how many <laughs> how many uh, hashtags they include well if you look at this post over here right just a couple of days prior 138 uh, likes zero hashtags so the moral lesson of the story over here guys is that if you really want to grow in 2024 if you want to make a difference this is your main objective you gotta learn how to utilize no hashtag posting with better description okay make your description better make your posting better and then everything will come into place for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to review the new updates in instagram algorithm in 2024 there is a major shift with everything that we've seen through 2021 and 2022 so now in 2024 we're seeing that there is a major change in the way in which Instagram picks 
the videos or pictures or any type of content to get more attention in other words getting viral let's launch the instagram app and let me show you some main difference so what we can see over here is that the more generic structure of the post if we click more and see how it's structured we're seeing less and less description in each of the posts that are getting a lot of attention if you can look at over here we're having first of all we're having generic hashtags we're having skiing we're having carving we have i don't know what the omit is ski and sunrise okay and num please check the number of, of of the hashtags we're having only five hashtags on average last year and through 2022 as well people have been using between 12 to 14 different hashtags if you scroll down just look at the structure of the actual sponsored content as well if you click over here well guess what this particular piece of content received 3.1 million people like it so 3.1 million people like this particular piece of content of course it was sponsored but how often do you see a sponsored piece of, of content that has 3 million likes let's scroll through the description and guess what there is no a single hashtag over here no single hashtag there is only one sentence which is you know their mission or or something about what the company is is aiming for then you have typical sales pitch okay and if you if you fail to understand what is the brand about well i do as well obviously they're selling some bracelets okay but what we're seeing over here they they, they don't have a single hashtag no hashtag of the brand no hashtag of accessories no hashtag of bracelets right is this something telling you there is something very special about the algorithm and if we scroll down let's take a look how people are actually structuring so as you can see people are you see this only one hashtag you have one <coughs> emoji which is the the rocket and you have another one which is the battery right so essentially over here you will see that this is most likely another sponsored because you see a lot of branding and if you click all over here well guess what this is a brand i don't know what this brand is but obviously this is a branded content as well look at this sponsored video okay this video has <clears throat> over 200 different comments so what this video is telling you again you have simply two sentences no hashtags at all so guys next time when you try to create either sponsored content or brand deal or you simply publishing on your own page i want you to focus on these three topics so if you decide to use a hashtags you want to go large meaning you want to go generic you want to go global if you're publishing video about let's say making an omelet right you're going to use the hashtag cooking you're not going to use hashtag uh you know fried eggs or omelet or you know cheese omelet you're not going to niche down you want to niche up this is what obviously has been working at the current pace for instagram second thing if you don't want to use hashtags like many other successful posts i just showed you you want to make sure that you have one to three sentences that are very very explanatory so you have maybe two will be more generic and one will be very very explanatory so this will simply help you to identify what type of audience is actually likely to see your video might not be the omelette lovers but might be the lovers of you know watching cooking videos just think about how mind-blowing this could be if you potentially have the major success with just people watching cooking videos but you 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 have been targeting only you know omelette videos like you've been targeting only people who like the dishes that you cook in the particular video for example you make a salad you target people who you know looking for salad recipe but meanwhile your only gain for success and advantage and leverage have to be to, to target all the people in the in the cooking industry just think about how important this is how major shift this is instead of targeting the 50 people looking for a recipe for salad you're targeting anyone who is looking to see and watch and engage with cooking content this is what i'm trying to explain to you guys it's a major major shift 
and Instagram algorithm for 2024. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to share with you the new updates from Instagram and how the algorithm actually distribute the content in completely different way. You will be shocked. Let me show you. Launching the Instagram app, you will see that the content that is actually popping up over here, it's no longer using hashtags. This is a commercial, this is a commercial, okay? You only click on it, very short description. This is not a commercial. Scroll down. The most important element, as you can see over here, is that if a sponsored content is not using hashtags and the structure of which you may wonder, you know, why does it look like this? Probably they know something that you don't. Remember, these people are paying to have their content uh, rank on not only on, on Instagram platform, but also on Google search. So these people have their best interest to arrange the description and the metadata in a way in which they will reach everyone who is currently searching for or potentially might be interested in their product. So if these people are no longer using hashtags, if these people are not focusing on long description, as you can see, just very, very simple. Very, very simple, you know, one sentence, you know, probably you see three functionality if it's a function, functional product, right? And everything else, essentially, it's it's what, what makes the post unique. You see, some of the people are still using hashtags, but as we can see over here, we don't see crazy, crazy, crazy engagement, right? If you look at the big brands, as you know, they pay millions of dollars for the actual marketing team and marketing campaigns. Probably they already study and find out. Because look at over here, right? This is another sponsored post, right? And you see, this post still has over uh, 90,000, right? 90,000 different interactions over here on this particular post. And yet, they don't have any hashtags on it. So guys, I want you to be very, very careful when using hashtags on your uh, Instagram post. I've seen this trend also on the Reels. On the Reels, I've seen even less text. I've seen people just using like a couple of words up to a sentence, and that's about it. You know why? Because now people are no longer focusing on the actual description and reading it. This was something in 2022 where people were essentially writing the whole essays, right? In the description, focusing on, on people reading the story while they're watching the video in the background. But now things are different. Remember on TikTok, there were a post, like a trend of posting like you, your video doing something at home, and on the whole screen, you will see a bunch of text. And people are not watching the video. The video is rolling in the background. You know, you're doing something, but the people are sitting and, and reading what is on the screen, which is, you know, mind-blowing. But this is no longer the, 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 trend, the trend. You haven't seen videos like this on TikTok, I bet for quite some time because the trend has shifted again for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more